In Washington, D.C., tourists are taking in the site while looking for ways to cool off. There, it could peak with triple-digit temperatures this weekend. That would be a first for D.C. in nearly eight years. We're asking people to just be mindful of how hot and how dangerous it can be um, and to avoid uh, um, overheating. It's been a brutally hot start to the summer. It's hot out here. It's real hot. Kevin Hayward is a FedEx delivery driver in Virginia. Got a cooler, got a rag in the cooler. You just got to grab your ice and grab your rag and then wipe your face. That's it. High temperatures have put more than 100 million Americans under excessive heat warnings and advisories this weekend, with the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic bearing the brunt. Record-breaking temperatures this week gripped cities from Philly to Louisville. A preach, the first thing on a hot day like this is hydrate, maintain cool, um, and then be prepared for the elements. In New York, fire hydrants were opened as a way for people to cool off. The heat also disrupted train travel at Penn Station. Unprecedented temperatures in Maine caused ER visits to surge, with nearly 80 heat-related illnesses reported. Health experts are urging vulnerable populations to be especially careful of both the high temperatures and humidity. Cristian Benavides, CBS News.